What's going on with Silent Hill 2? We finally got some gameplay footage for it. I feel like a lot of people were waiting to see this thing in motion to be like, okay, does it actually look disappointing? Is it actually as bad as it's going to be? Blue, but don't have the best track record. There are fans of that dev, including myself. Shout out to Observer. They've got some games in there that I didn't mind. But I feel like now that we've seen Silent Hill 2 in motion, um, Sai, what are you thinking? I was, I was waiting to get your thoughts on Cam. Oh man, I just said to you before we started recording, I've watched it like three times. I don't know what my thoughts are. Like, what's <laughs> going on? Like, another thing that you didn't mention there is that it ends with in development. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And everyone's We're figuring like, this out. So sure that it was coming out this year, maybe, or something like that. N not even a window, just kind of no. like, it's a game that's being made. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, the presentation of what they chose to show us is alarming. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's what you lead out the gate with through your game party trailer is a few seconds of, you're like, okay music's nice and then there's just like bam bam combat 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 yeah. it's like um okay i couldn't shake it kind of feeling like a fan mod like I, was, mm. I get that they're chasing the resident evil 2 hype like i've already seen people comparing like the way that james holds a like, pistol to the yeah, way that leon holds a pistol the shoulder, like the shotgun and he's like yeah it's yeah, like way more military the opening of the doll i got me i thought that's so resident evil yeah. <laughs> like even that animation but it's like trying to chase that which i guess you would do if you were nakedly just trying to you know reboot silent hill and do silent hill 2 is the fan favorite one and do it like resident evil but there's something about the general fidelity of the animation or like the way that James was moving around. Well, like <sighs> if you told me that was a fan mod of the original Sound Hill 2 that they'd retextured and just threw the camera behind him, um, I would believe you. Like, and I don't mean to slag off Bluebird. Like I've had a decent enough relationship with their games over the years, but it is kind of fascinating seeing that a lot of the negative, the people who were quite negative on it from the start were pretty much right. I think it's 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 difficult, right? Because if you look at Bluebird's track record and the games they've made, the closest to this, I'd say, is the medium that they put mm. out a few years mm. ago, which similarly was evoking that kind of classic survival horror style. You know, sometimes it was over the shoulder, sometimes it was fixed perspective. It reminds me of the uh, clunkiness in that, which I think that game got away with because it was very much an indie title. Mm. It was very much something smaller scale than a triple A game. But with this being Silent Hill 2 and with us having the kind of um, relationship that we have with games like Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 2, other mm. big remakes, I think the expectations are just that much higher. I think yeah, this was yeah. just another Bloober Team game. Everyone, including myself, might be a little bit more forgiving with it, but the fact that it's this big franchise and the expectations are naturally and rightly so bigger, I think that's where a lot of mm. the kind of, ooh, this is not looking like the game I want it to be comes from. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would argue that some of the clunkiness and some of the jankiness of the animations and stuff, that's probably what you want. Because Silent Hill 2 is not about, it's not an action game. No, that's true. It's just true. a dude with a pipe or whatever. It's not, he's not meant to be, you know, an action hero. So he's not I don't have mind what you that it looks a little bit weird in terms of the combat. For me, it was just the choice of like, hey, look, it's got quick time events mm. and something spewing goo on you. And I was like- <laughs> That bit was rough, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's <laughs> like, I don't know about this, guys. And But yeah, just the general visuals are just, they're not up to par, but it is in development. We don't yeah. have a release window. We have no idea this could be really early in dev. Like. Another thing as well is like when they initially showed off, I think it was initially the teaser where they showed James Sunderland just sort of Southern, like just looking Walking upset. Fog and yeah, and they, showed yeah, yeah. they showed his facial animation. He was like, oh my God, I'm so upset. And it was like, you are front loading the stuff that is meant to be more towards the back end when you figure out the reality of what mm. that story is, etc. But now that we've seen more gameplay, there is a bit where he's walking through a corridor and just written on the wall, it says, reap what you sow. Mm. And it's just like, we are like, again, they are front loading that stuff. Yeah. Like that's kind of not the point of the way that story is supposed to go. Um, you're not necessarily supposed to know his state of mind, let's say until later on, mm -hmm. um, even though you can pick on it, um, you know, based on the IP that it's in. Yeah. But like the way that it's shaken out, I just for me, it's a really on the nose version of that game's message. Yeah, I definitely get that. You know, I'm looking forward to it. It's Silent Hill, I'll be there day one. I don't even mind if they change these things around. You know, I'm all for that in remakes. Yeah. Part of the reason Same. why I love yeah, Resident Evil totally. 4 is that they do change things around. I'm not beholden to the original because I've thankfully got that on PlayStation 2. I can just go back and play it. That said, do I think it looks good? Not really, you know, not really. Because I agree with what Sai was saying there when you were talking about Obviously, it's a gameplay trailer. They're going to show off gameplay, but front-loading Silent Hill 2 with this much combat and mm. combat that doesn't even look all that compelling, yeah. it does kind mm. of feel to me like you're missing the point. Like, if I was just going off this 
um, trailer, having not played and experienced and loved the original, mm -hmm. I'd think it was just a game about shooting the um, Silent Hill nurses or right. shooting those the, legs, the leg the monsters, legs. which yeah. are the leg -headed so scary folk. still in the PlayStation 2 game, yet did not have any of that menace no, totally. this time around. And then you add in like the clunkiness of the animations, the um, the, the kind of crap sound effects and sound design overall. <laughs> I'm not completely down on it, just as a combat show off, I wasn't convinced that one, Silent Hill 2 even needed more combat. No. And two, if you were going to include it, this would be the thing to win me over and sell it as an action game. I mm -hmm. did like some of the environmental design, you know, not necessarily the on the nose um, messaging of the graffiti and stuff and the mm -hmm. symbolism, but um, there, there was a few shots earlier on that evoked. Silent Hill 2 wasn't, didn't have the Resident Evil thing of pre-rendered backgrounds, mm. but I thought like there was something about the visuals here that kind of was evoking that, even though mm. they are going for this PS5 powered, almost photorealistic style. They were kind mm. of meshing that quite well. There was something about the atmosphere I liked, so I'm not fully down on it, but yeah, as a gameplay That's... show off, I can see why people are going, ooh, this is missing yeah, the mark. I'm not writing it off, but they're already fighting an uphill battle and this, yeah. is, not, this is not helping. I think it's it's a, a shame or it's a bad thing or whatever when the main reason to check out your game is morbid curiosity. Like at this point, it's just like, well, I guess I might as well yeah. see what yeah. state this thing's in. Um, and like, yeah, you'll have a mix of the, obviously the, the hardcore fans, people who have been championing the, the idea of a remake for years at this point, and um, just being like, well, I might as well see. I, yeah. I don't, I'd be very curious if no one's played Silent Hill at all, um, you know, if this is the thing that got them in. I still think it's weird leading with part two anyway, um, after this long. I know that they kind of remade Silent Hill 1 on like the Wii or whatever, they did that whole thing with Sam Barlow. But um, still, it was a, an interesting look at the game that's been quite divisive so far. Um, go on. Before you move on, I just yeah. want to ask, like, what do you think of the Silent Hill approach overall? Because we got the uh, the drop of Silent Hill, the short message last night yeah. as well, which I haven't played. The Silent Hill F, that's still in development. I think those games are connected. Mm -hmm. And then we had that um, weird, uh, sort of Netflix Black Mirror Bandersnatch Oh my God, yeah. Is that is Ascension, Ascension, yeah. that's the one that uh, there's, uh, there's Townfall as well. Townfall yep. as, well. as well. as <laughs> well. Because they, did, about, but... they did put a little statement out last night. I mean, obviously we knew this is what they're doing anyway, mm. but they put a proper statement out last night saying like the um, the short message, silent yes. message, whatever short message, yeah. Short message is part of an overall revival project for Silent Hill. So like yeah. they're going for it. Uh, the important part about that message is that it's like, this is the first entry in the revival of Silent Hill. So mm. they've already gone. So Ascension didn't happen, guys. <laughs> Don't worry about that. That's like, actually a really good point. Completely bodied yeah. it. They've gone, buy your It's Trauma t-shirts, but the game doesn't exist. Oh, like, yeah. They've got what they needed out of it. Remember the uh, It's Trauma stickers? You yeah, can you can get a t-shirt. It's Trauma. You can buy a t-shirt from the Konami, oh not to God. plug the Konami merchandise store. <laughs> They're <laughs> selling Ascension merchandise, even though the game bombed. Completely missed that when I was off last year. You yeah, didn't, didn't miss not, much. No. Thank yeah. God. <laughs> yeah, that whole, that, yeah, that whole, just to quickly cover it, that Sound Hill Ascension, it was like a, a live, well, a, an attempt at telling a live story where people could have agency in the way the story went, and then you could pay for different, essentially like a super chat type thing where you could pay for stickers and ways to get on the chat and one of them was an It's Trauma sticker. Crazy. Um, which at this point is mostly associated with the direction like of Like every day was a new controversy. Well. Yeah. Is it written by AI? Why is this man coming out of a bush talking about jam? <laughs> you know? <laughs> the, the jam scene. It, it was definitely jam. a thing. Yeah. Oh, you know, you've got so much to see. So much yeah, to see. Was, it was such a weird thing. When we get thing. back downstairs. But still, um, yeah, their overall approach to it. The thing is, when they did the live stream, uh, I thought that was just last year when they did that live stream, they looked very, very nice. It was well produced and they said, look, it was, yeah. You know, we're doing all these Sound Hill projects. They showed off Sound Hill F. 2022. Yeah. 2022. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, and they said, yeah, Sound Hill F, which used to be like Project Sakura, whatever it's called. And then um, they, they've got in, is it uh, Rikushi 06, who's like a known sort mm -hmm. of Japanese auteur. And it's like, that's a really cool. Like you're doing really, really well by the IP. And it's been a long time coming. So I'm still like, until we see the final products for each thing, like I'm still kind of cautiously optimistic, but it seems like a very scattered approach. However, that can be potentially its biggest strength because I don't want you following a really strict brand yeah. Bible for this thing. Yeah, yeah. And I wanted to feel like you gave this IP to various different people to see what they would do with it. Like yeah. Silent Hill is a very malleable IP. I'm still like, I mentioned the Sam Barlow games before. I wish they were more widely available. Um, obviously they worked because of the tech where the characters could literally ring you on a phone through the Wii remote and then you would talk to them. And it's like, <laughs> that's a really, the really cool ideas there that like that general ethos of that general idea of the Silent Hill IP being malleable. I hope that comes through regardless. People have said this previously, uh, smarter people than I, but I agree with them when they say that I, 
I want Silent Hill to be more than iconography because mm. I've seen a lot of games go down that route. To me, my beloved Fallout, even now under Bethesda, is kind of more iconography than it is story. Yeah. Like you get mm. the Vault Boy, you get the Brotherhood of Steel, but there's no real development. There's no real reason for them to be there in some cases yeah. outside of just brand recognition. And that's what I worry when I see Silent Hill 2. I see the nurses, I see Pyramid Head, and mm -hmm. I, I just hope that you can get the soul of what those characters, those designs, that world meant <laughs> and not just kind of have them in there because, hey, people remember those things and they're memorable. We'll keep bringing them back. Yes. Yeah. The beauty of like those first games were that, you know, like one and three were quite deeply connected. But like you said, you know, every time you got a version of Silent Hill, it was slightly different. It had like a slightly different meaning. There was a there was an individual stamp on yeah. it. And I don't want to lose that. I no. think that is the intention like they stated in that statement um <laughs> and i also haven't played short message but i've heard a lot of people say that it does feel like silent hill but also completely fresh there's a lot of mobile phone usage it's about cyber bullying i yeah. think they mentioned the pandemic and stuff like that so it's doing a lot of its That's own thing cool. even though it's kind of like a hey guys pt we did it's, it yeah, yeah. Ten years uh, later. it is doing sort of some new stuff and mm. i've seen yeah different kind of reviews on it so far but it seems like a finally a good step forward. Yeah, this. that's the thing. It's like Silent Hill 2 is the only one of these steps forward that's stumbling a bit. Like the, the Silent Hill F stuff conceptually looks really, really solid. Like the um, short message looks awesome enough and it, ha it can channel PT a little bit. It's not like, the only, I mean, we just talked about Ascension. That was not a good, that's, that's, that's not that's a good that first step that's, we're, we're leaving that behind. It's, I, mean, um, <laughs> they, they, I did a, a long video on this last year, but they've done the same thing now they did back in the day with Konami where they take Silent Hill and they just give it to small studios, which is great in mm. theory, but when it all falls apart, mm those studios kind of take the blame for it. And, yeah. and they've done the same thing this time. Silent Hill F is made by Neobards, who are a very small studio at the time mm. and have never made like a single player narrative focused game. So I have reasons to be concerned. Hopefully yeah. they'd smash out the park, that mm -hmm. would be great. Um, but it's just, it's a weird state to be in. Yeah, it's also just to round it out in terms of like where Silent Hill 2 kind of sits and the idea of it just becoming iconography. I forget the name of the dude who did design Pyramid Head, but he tweeted last year saying, I wish I never invented Pyramid Head <laughs> yeah. because it's just everywhere at yeah. this point. And that's when you think Silent Hill 2, it just is immediately that. Yeah. Um, so hopefully there's way more to it.